Hello and welcome to the third video of AI marketing course where we discuss mainly chat GPT and how a digital marketer can leverage chat GPT in their day-to-day -day work and become more efficient. In the two previous videos we discussed about chat GPT then we discussed about prompts we discussed about how to do client audits and how to know about your client if you're going for a meeting and in this video we'll be discussing project briefing and I'll tell you what it means. Now customer onboarding and project briefing is when you meet the client and they like you and and they decide to work with you and they probably give you a test project. So the next logical step is you start working on a strategy which you present it to them later and tell them, see, this is what we are going to do. Sometimes it's very descriptive. You create a presentation deck, you create a media plan and then you present it to them and they give approval and you move ahead with the project. But before you start working on this strategy and the media plan and all the details, you first need to know in detail that what the client wants. Sometimes in the meetings, they tell you roughly what they want, like they want to generate leads and stuff like that. But how it's done professionally in digital marketing agencies and the professional freelancers, digital marketing freelancers, how they do it is we create something called a briefing template where we ask the client certain questions and we document it. These questions are very, very important to understand before you even start working on the project. And once you create the presentation deck for them, this goes as the first slide that what are the objectives we have identified? Sometimes what the client wants and what you understand what they want is different and it later creates a problem. That's why it's a very important step. The first step of any project is to align on what their objectives are. If they're giving you media spends, if they're hiring you, what exactly do they want? Because sometimes it's not that straightforward. Sometimes they want a mix of everything. They want leads. They want to grow their social media pages. And at the same time, they want to create branding and awareness about their brand. Sometimes it's a mix of a lot of things. And that's where a briefing template comes into picture. All the agencies and professional marketing freelancers, they have this template ready and sometimes they make a little bit changes here and there based on the client and they send it to them ask the client to fill it we will use chat gpt completely to create this template i'm giving you all the details before the use cases they're very important for you to understand if you're new in digital marketing so that you have a little bit of idea how things work actually in the industry uh, generally it's the strategist who creates these questions and sends it to client for him to understand and then later work on strategy and media plan and all the media planners as well as strategists need this information. So generally, it used to be done by these experienced people. But with ChatGPT, honestly, if you are a big enough freelancer, you can create on your own. So here is my ChatGPT window. And I'm going to ask, write my first prompt, uh, which is act as an experienced digital marketing strategist for an online advertising agency and provide a list of questions to be shared with the client. I'm working with a client who is a real estate broker company based in Dubai. They want to run digital marketing paid campaigns to generate leads on their website. In order to work on a media plan and strategy for them, provide me a list of questions I should ask them in order to create an efficient media plan and strategy. I ideally will send them these questions so that I have all the information at once about the project and, cre and can create a detailed strategy and media plan for them. So this is the so here's what ChatGPT has to say. Here's a comprehensive list of questions to ask your client to gather all the necessary information for creating uh, efficient media plan and strategy. So it gave us questions and it gave us in the form of like in different categories. These, if you're new, you, they, they, might, they might look like too much for you. But honestly, they are very, very important. Each of these questions is very, very important. What I can see from here. So let's go through the questions one by one. Campaign objectives and goals. What are your specific goals of this campaign? For example, number of leads, sales, branding awareness. What is the target number of leads per month? Do you have a specific KPI you want to measure? Well, I'll give you an example why this question is important. In certain cases, uh, the real estate company can tell you, they, they have this in mind that, okay, we will employ a digital marketer. He will boost our social media engagement. He will boost our social media fan base. Sometimes they'll be like, no, we just want to generate leads. We are a new company. We want to generate as much leads as possible. Sales, we know it takes time in the first three months we don't want a lot of we don't want to pressure you on a lot of sales volume but we just want to leads because we just want to gather some information customer lists and all sometimes they have different like clients have different needs and sometimes they think digital marketers are magicians so you need to set that expectation right what's the target number of leads per month this is a very important question as well, because if they have a very minimal budget, you probably in your strategy and media plan, you'll just have maybe meta ads and search ads. 
But depending on the budget they have monthly, you can probably sometimes you might have to look at a lot of advanced solutions, maybe programmatic advertising, email automation, whatever, I don't know. But this is very, very important to understand before you work on a media plan and you work on a strategy. This is a very important question. Do you have any specific KPIs you want to measure? For example, cost per lead, conversion rate, cost per acquisition. This is important as well because my experience with a lot of real estate clients is sometimes they do have in-house teams. They work with other agencies. And they get a lot of leads at maybe six dirhams, eight dirhams, ten dirhams, five dollars cost per lead. And they're unhappy because the conversion rate is low. So they are they are generating a lot of leads, but they are not quality leads. This is very important to understand that what KPIs will you look at? Will you look at just lead numbers? Will you look at conversion rates? How much number how many number of leads are quality leads so this is very very important to understand because your strategy will form in the same way they'll probably say cost per lead does not matter even if it's 300 dirhams but we want a quality lead every two out of ten leads should be someone yes i'm interested to view the apartments i'm ready i'm looking for an apartment let's go let's look at the apartment and things like that these are the type of people they want to leads to fill because real estate clients sometimes sometimes the biggest problem is they're getting so many leads and their clients or agents are demotivated because most of them are fake leads and it wastes their lot of time so this is why it becomes very important for them to get quality leads so it depends i'm just giving you an example why these questions are very very important target audience who's your target audience sometimes they'll be like okay you know what we are working with these two projects only uh, people from UK are interested in these kind of projects because maybe they're high end or they're near the beach because this property has certain things about it which the people from UK prefer. Sometimes they'll be like, no, these two properties we're handling, we're mostly looking at Russian audience, Indian audience. So this is very, very important to understand for you to work on a good strategy which kind of caters to their needs can you provide specific demographic details it's again about the same thing do you have any customer personas or whatever sometimes they'll be like no we want first time home buyers only because that's what the project is about sometimes they'll be like we want investors only so they are very very important questions and if they answer you and they you have this documented honestly the way you will work on a strategy and media plan will be way way different then it's asking market insights and unique selling point what sets your real estate offerings apart it's about the project current marketing efforts are you currently running any digital campaigns? it's very very important to understand because for you you need to understand whether they have tracking in place whether they have google analytics in place whether they have a crm whether how are they tracking the leads how are they giving you the feedback on leads this is very very important and what are they doing currently so that you can basically understand okay this is what they have already tested so we don't need to uh, start from scratch current marketing efforts then the budget is important as well platforms and channels you ask them about different platforms would you be open to exploring new channels like tiktok linkedin programmatic advertising this is also very important because sometimes you'll work with an agency uh, they'll be like they will have a dedicated videographer they'll have people or agents going to properties making a lot of videos and they don't know if you don't communicate they they will expect you to know everything sometimes clients do so in that case, you'll be like, OK, if you have answer to this question, would you be uh, keen to open exploring new channels? They'll be like, yes, we want to work TikTok. We create a lot of content. Then your strategy changes. OK, they have a lot of UGC type content like user generated content or things like that. Then your strategy is different. Sometimes they'll be like, no, we don't have we don't know how to shoot videos. Can you create image statics? They expect you to be a designer or hire a designer and create like statics. So these things matter a lot as well. And when you know all this information, then uh, you can work in a way, way professional way. And honestly, the clients will expect you to know all this on your own. So it's always better to ask and communicate. Campaign duration and timeline. And this is very important because they might be like, yeah, we have this project, but the sales uh, will be over in one and a half months. Then we'll be working on these two projects. They expect you to know. So you have to ask them. You have to know all these details. And the thing I like about chat GPT here is it, I wrote the brief is about real estate client. And honestly, the questions are very, very related to how you approach a uh, real estate client, because I have a lot of experience with real estate. And I know these questions are very important. Uh, it'll be good if you test on your own for an 
another industry for a hypothetical client and see what will be the change in the questions. Campaign duration, lead management and follow-up, yeah, which I was talking about. You need to know whether they have a CRM, how long do they take to call back the lead and things like that. How do they collect the data? Do they already have a CRM? Do they have a customer list? Can I use that to create a custom list uh, in meta ads and things like that? You need to have all this information. Creative essence and content, it goes back to what I was talking about. Website and landing pages. Do you have one website where you divert all your traffic and have landing pages for different projects on the same website? Do you create different landing pages with different domains for each of your projects? It's very important to understand so that you can strategize. Maybe tell them, you know what, we should have buy different domains for each of the real estate project with the name of the project in it. It makes it look authentic and things like that. I'm just giving you like information a bit of sneak peek into the strategy but all of that that comes back to how what kind of information you have legal and compliance this is brilliant because in uae a law was recently passed that every real estate client who will um, uh, advertise on social media pages they have a certain number it rare number which should be included in the captions or there are there are certain rules about it but look at the detail of the questions chat gpt is asking um, honestly if you just make me sit randomly and write questions probably some of these won't even cross my mind because we are used to use a template in our agency so it's asking all of that you need you will have all the information performance metrics and reporting how will you report what kind of will you need a live dashboard whatever Customer insights and data, additional requirements, and do you have any branding guidelines we should follow in that? So are there any existing partnerships or collaborations we should be aware of? Then maybe you take content from that, or you highlight that, or a lot of things. But you need to ask these questions. I, honestly, so far, I think ChatGPT did not leave any anything unasked. Question list is good. I'll write a follow-up prompt, which is, give the list to me in a tabular form with the first column as category and the second column as the question because I'll directly use this table in a doc and create a template out of it and send it to the clients for them to fill this. Now one thing to understand is you don't have to um, send all of these questions to all the clients because sometimes uh, there might be a small client with a small budget where you don't need all this information but create a template when you are sending to them remove certain questions which you think are not relevant for that particular client. Okay, here we have the questions, this category campaign objectives and goals, and then we have what are the specific questions, and we have all these questions here. One thing I would suggest is because whenever we have sent these clients, these type of templates to clients, certain clients who don't have much experience in digital media and dealing with freelancers and agencies, they'll be like, what do you mean target number of leads? Okay, this is a straightforward question. Maybe they'll be like, do you have specific KPIs want to measure? What? They'll be come back to you, ask, what do you mean? What, what do you want me to write here? And in those cases, it's very helpful to, to add an example uh, answer here for them to understand what kind of answer we are looking for. And you don't have to go and write it yourself. We can ask ChatGPT to do it. Add one more column with the example answers for the client to understand what kind of information we need from them. Okay, here we have the table, uh, category, question, and see, it has added an example answer. The question is, what are the specific goals of this campaign? We want to generate 100 qualified leads per month for our luxury apartments. Okay, this example is as per the real estate uh, clients as well. So it will be easier for them to understand. Now, for example, the KPI question, um, do you have specific KPIs you want to measure? We want to measure cost per lead below $50 and the conversion rate, conversion rate above 3%. So now they understand what kind of answer we need. For example, can you provide specific demographic details? Age 30 to 35, income this, nationality UA residents and uh, expatriates. So now it will be way, way easier. You can go directly and you can download this table and put it in a sheet, name it, briefing template and send it to clients whenever you need. Honestly, gently, I say ChatGPT can do 80% of your job. But in this case, creating this template, I think it did 95% of the job. All you need to do is just sense check, go through the questions again and see if it missed on a certain question. I sell these templates before ChatGPT. I used to sell these templates. If you see, I have one template here, which is briefing template for agencies. I sell it for 
seven dollars i i on gum road it's for 12.99 dollars and i have probably more than 200 sales on this it's this exactly the same table in a sheet and i sell it and i used to get a lot of sales even from professional freelancers and agencies used to buy these templates but now with chat gpt you can just do it on your own so that's all for this video thank you so much and i will see you in the next one